Now nine days away from opening ceremonies for the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo, our very own Andrew Martin is on his way there. He's going to re be reporting live from Tokyo starting next week. KC24's Gabe Salazar caught up with Andrew before he boarded the plane. Right now I got to take my second COVID test. One more awkward COVID test to go. Oh, definitely makes your eyes water. And sports director Andrew Martin is ready to head to Tokyo. So how are you feeling as you're getting ready to leave? Excited to go and to report on history. I mean, having a, an Olympics postponed because of a pandemic has never happened before. Have you been to Japan at all before? I have not. I have not. I've traveled a lot in my life. I love traveling. I've traveled for this company numerous times, but this will be my first time to Japan. Tokyo was awarded the bid for the Olympics, which was postponed to this year due to the pandemic. Martin has a task of tracking down as many Team USA athletes as he can. There are 613 of them. How many athletes from the Central Valley are representing us here? We have seven, which is very impressive. Uh, seven athletes with ties to the Central Valley, and a lot of them can actually win medals. And the usual cheers from spectators at the games won't be heard this year as a state of emergency was declared in Tokyo because of the coronavirus. But I was always a fan of the Olympics for the simple fact that you're representing your country. And in a sense, I'm also representing my country. I am there as a member of the American media to report on athletes, mostly for Team USA, but for some other countries too that have ties back to this country. Representing us as the Olympics correspondent and keeper of Mike Flex. We have 33 NBC affiliates within our company. KC24 is one of them. And so each station has its own unique microphone flag. So when I do reports for Fresno, I will have the KC24 flag. When I do reports for our station in Bakersfield, I will have the KGET mic flag. Every single one of our reports will have a mic flag corresponding to that station somewhere in the country. This is Andrew's third time covering the Olympics for our company. And now a bon voyage on the journey to Tokyo. Gabe Salazar, KC24, local news that matters. He needs a suitcase just for all those mic flags. He does, and I saw him right, I saw him in the parking lot yeah. as he was leaving, and he did have a suitcase just for the mic flags. <laughs> oh, right. So there you go. Makes sense. <laughs> Still to come, a local pilot that's on his way towards setting a rocket. His sun-powered aircraft.